the hell? That fucking laugh. Oh god, he's so fucking incompetent. Oh shit, time skip. I swear to God, if Battler's not in that part of the room, I would be so disappointed in him. Shinjiraremai. <laughs> George folded his arms and started mumbling again. You are honestly not going to believe that it was fucking ma- He's gonna believe it's fucking magic. Wow, that's fucking- <laughs> I'm sorry, but even the woman I'm engaged to, if she dropped that and said like, Oh yeah, in the room where two people were murdered, someone, uh, Cannon, a lookalike like Cannon, who had a giant hole in his chest, jumped around the room and was slashing people's throats open with a fucking purple arm sword. I will never look at her in the same way because I will think she's fucking insane. I will never accept that as a, a reasonable answer to any sort of murder. And the kitchen was once again wrapped in a long silence. Oh, it's not hard to believe because you guys are fucking killers! <laughs> Our Goda's cooking really did have some, uh, poisonous elements to it. Just fucking psychedelics in there. And, you know, just some acid. LSD. Shrooms. All that shit. <laughs> you see some weird shit. Maybe Goda is the real culprit here. Trying to convince everyone that they're all insane. なのに、あれが全部幻だったような気すらする。ファビカスイデス。なるほどね。あの老僧おばさんに詳しく話せないわけだ。ビカシュウラフンセイ、アーユファキングシリアス。ライクアセインラショナルヒューマンウォード。今
小笠はそういう昔話に詳しかった。No, they're fucking assholes. That's what they are. They're not fucking useful at all. Fucking terrifying. Look, there's just too many deadly spiders around me. For me to even look at a spider and be like, yeah, those are fun. There's too many that will, I, would kill me within hours of biting me. Fuck that. Not even hours, actually. Fuck it. No, it's, I'll, I'll die too quickly from something that small. Wonder how that spirit mirror broke. Huh. Never would guess that. Yeah, you're right. It's all your fucking fault. <laughs> no, but seriously, though, there's no such thing as magic. Let's be real here. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your consequences that you actually believe you caused. Don't worry about it. It's just a bunch of people dying. Yeah, it was someone else that looked identical to her and who had the same motives as her that broke it. Since long ago, Shannon had often suggested that there was some kind of a cult cause for her meeting with George. After listening to her, George had grown to think that she was being a typical girl associating love with fate, chances, and miracles. He did think that smashing the spear mirror offered at the toy shop was taking it a bit far. But he laughed it off, forgiving her, thinking it was just a prank that showed how serious she was about her relationship with him. No, it wasn't a prank. She honestly believed that would work. For some dumb fuck reason. Just breaking a mirror in some musty shrine wouldn't have changed the fate in our meeting. And it would never cause any curse. Yeah, okay. It says anyone that breaks a curse anywhere. <clears throat> I didn't think taking that thing from this sacred shrine would do anything. I just thought they just left it there for no fucking reason. If you believe in that kind of shit. I don't, so... This is whatever. I'm just saying, if it's her mind, that's what she should think. He tried to cheer her up, saying it was only a dusty mirror covered in- a musty mirror covered in dust. Beatrice-sama <laughs> That's how I'd act. Of course she does. And she's the one killing everyone with magic! でも、ベアトリーチ様は力を失っておられて、私たちの前に姿を現らわすことができなかったんです。ずっといた。私たちが見えなかっただけなんです。現地さんの意見を聞きたいです。This is all a bunch of fucking bullshit. <laughs> Thank you, Genji. this is a lot of fucking bullshit. ひとつだけ申し上げたいのは私たちはあの時ここにそしてカノンが勝手口から帰ってきたと思ったそして使用人質に運び何かが起こって男女先生とクマさんが帰らぬ人となってしまったそれだけです私たちは見たものをすでに
こいつはカノンさんじゃない誰か別の存在なんだと直感しましたジョージ様にはわからないでしょうよく知っていると思っていた人物が実は別人であることをさらけ出した瞬間の恐ろしさというものは説明できないとても説明できるわけがないわかるよ合田さんがそれほどまでにショックを受けるどんな恐ろしいことがあったのかありがとうございますジョージ様 And they all fell silent again. Shannon kept crying no matter how many times she was consoled, thinking that listening to the witch's sweet whispers and breaking the spirit mirror on that day had been a mistake that ruined everything. Well, in her mind, and anyone that believed in curses and shit like that, yes, that would be the reason. Yeah, why don't you just go make it again? あの鏡があると力が出せないというようなことを言っていたと思います君が割ったというその鏡はどうしたの ?I threw it in the sea probably 覚えていません What? What do you mean you don't remember? 多分割ったまま立ち去りましたからそのままそこに残ってたでしょう You fucking litter bug ということは岩礁が雷で撃たれて消えたとかいう時に海の底かまあ拾って接着剤で貼り付けたところでご利益は戻らないだろうけどね no, but you can super glue it together. <笑>私は本当に Broken a fog a musty mirror? ごめん失言したよ Yeah I shouldn't joke around with you Because you're overly sensitive and can't take a fucking joke. Good lord. Come on. He didn't know Shannon breaking the mirror really had started all of this off. No! Though the servants didn't blame Shannon, they all seemed to believe that her actions had been the root cause. But even now, George wasn't able to go that far. All this talk about the witches and evil spirits just sounded fake to him, even though he was trying to be open minded. Of course, it's fucking fake! Fake! Even so, he listened seriously to Shannon's story, trying to find a hint that might revive at least a little of the pain in her heart. Revive. Oh, relief. Fuck. So, you know, some of the trees were the same, but the trees were the same. 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 What? Eh? What? 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 That does not sound like her at all. Hi. Oji Sama no Katami wa Kanani ka de Moratta mono da so de Totemo Tsui Mayoke no Chikara o Motsu. You de kyo da to ka nan to ka. Now I think you're just bullshitting me. Onaji Hanashi wa Watashi mo kiita koto ga aru. Kagami wa Yoku nai mono o hansha shite Hajiki kaisu chikara ga aru no da to ka. その霊きがあれば魔女のベアトリーチェに対抗できるかな When George proposed this, the servants looked up. 祭っていた鳥居と祠はもうないかもしれないけれど、霊きがもう一枚あるのは重要なことだよ。夏日おばさんの実家は、神職にも通じていると聞いたことがある。What? それは本当に、単なる鏡ではないかもしれない。This is fucking news to me! What? When? Why has this not been disclosed to me? Tasca Oksama Takaramano Bakoni let the Daijin Shimatiru To shut the Tayona Kigashimas. So many Oki Mono de Vanaino Kamashimase. Okisano Monday de Vanakata to my lesson. Yeah, the size doesn't matter until you fucking use it, right? Matashina Matakamino. It can't taste the bottom of my cheese on the Kamamini Mimasta. I fucking lock all the doors and just think, yeah, have fun, guys. I'm gonna take a nap on this table. Of course, this didn't mean George had accepted the witch. However, he thought it would be necessary to have some kind of purification ceremony to heal the wounds in Shannon's heart. 
So this story about Natui's spirit mirror was really convenient. ま、しかし、奥様の部屋には鍵がかかっていると思います。まさきはローザ様にお返ししてしまいましたし、キーボックスのある使用人室も施錠されてしまいましたし、これ。ならば その鍵は夏氷馬さんが持ち歩いているはず。ドーズ no, George, you're going to ruin shit if you do that. しかし、George, stop! Stop right now! No! George, you're going to fuck this up. Because if the police come and see a broken fucking window, they'll be like, well, now there's a lot of different ways that they could have gone in and out of this building without necessarily using Maria's key. George, you're being really fucking suspicious right now. Because a killer wouldn't want to, would want to disrupt that scene and make it look like different stuff had happened in there. Because let's say there's only a, like a limited number of people that can switch out that envelope and like, you know, open it up, take the key out of the envelope, come back and put it back in. A very limited amount of people can do that. Breaking this window is going to screw with that whole thing. No, because you're really fucking up the crime scene. How about when the police get mad at you? George's announcement that he'd taken responsibility seemed to have given the servants a great deal of courage. Shana and Goto looked at each other, then looked at George's face again. Fuck off. Fuck the servants who had been rejected by Rosa gained a new master and started to move. George, who was no normally calm and gentle, was now radiating dignity. Shannon checked the emergency flashlight, just in case she changed the batteries. Goda was testing several, several heavy looking cooking tools. The thing is, though, if George is involved, it would he would have been easily set up for the first murder as well. Because he would have been in the room where the envelope was. It would have been so easy to wake up in the middle of the night, or act like he went to sleep, got up, grabbed the key from there, and went and helped those people move the bodies. And then come back, reseal it, and go to sleep. It would have been too easy for him. That's why it's suspicious as hell. They saying let's go break a couple window well let's go break a window in there and open it up. It's suspicious. Normally a high praise chef like him wouldn't want to use them for anything other than their intended purpose. But now he was frantic to fulfill the orders of the one who accepted he accepted as his master. After some wearing he took a large, thick feeling frying pan. And just fucking pull out like a hammer. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Kenji removed several umbrella, uh, umbrellas from the umbrella stand set in the corner near the kitchen door. He took three of them. Kenji-san! 
Yes, I lock all of those doors once they all leave if I was Genji of Ha, I get fucked, people. Genji's too cool, man. Go to Shannon are gonna die next. Or Genji because they'll kill him and then leave. Oh, you're not the senile one, Genji. You're fine. As Genji said that, he sat down. As though some ev saying that he didn't intend to discuss this anymore, his gaze fell to the chessboard that he played Nanjo on. When George saw this, he decided to leave Genji there. Go, Mina. Getting out and sit down with him and be like, Nah, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You guys can go. When George took an umbrella and dashed down the ha well, hallway, Shannon and Gota chase after him, each holding a tool. After they flew out of the room, Genji quietly stretched stretched his hand out to the side of the chessboard. He softly he softly pulled something there towards himself, covered it covering it with his paw. Genji killed his breathing even more than before. As he did, something flashed gold. From inside an ice pail set on the counter, a small gold butterfly appeared and softly and silently. It was almost as though it had seen George and the rest ra, ra, and the rest off, and was trying to secretly chase after them. Happened in an instant. The elegant gold but butterfly flapping its rings wa wings was pinned against the wall by the knife Genji threw, just like a butterfly in a bug collection. After the gold butterfly beat its wings several times, looking like it was in pain, it accepted the fact that it couldn't break free, and became fine gold powder and smoke, and disappeared as though it had melted into water. Okay. Genji still gazed down at the chessboard as though nothing had happened. God, what a fucking badass. Maybe he would think up a brilliant move very soon. But no matter what he move he made, his opponent would not be able to respond for all eternity. Even though he knew that Genji searched for a brilliant move, it must have been the perfect way to kill the time. But during the short period before some fate would be given to him. He didn't know what the result of the roulette would bring him, bring about. But that decision would be made very soon. No one could interfere with the tumbling roulette ball. The door of the parlor was not only locked, but blocked with a barricade made of sofas and the like. Because of that, Aunt Rosa seemed to suspect that any suspicious person approaching would break in through the window. Sitting on a one-person sofa, her back to the door, she continued to hold onto her gun. I didn't know what... It what was what anymore, and even though my body and mind were worn out, I played with Maria as she wanted. Maria had said it, Beatrice was testing us to see if we could solve the epitaph of the gold, so we had to try and figure out the riddle. In the beginning, I was a little interested and tried to solve it, but I didn't even have a clue where to start in this weird text. I didn't doubt that there was some kind of riddle hidden there, but I seriously doubted I'd be able to suddenly leap to an answer. In the middle part of the epitaph, there are lines going from the first to the tenth twilight, telling us the journey of the Golden Land. On the first, offer the six chosen by the key as sacrifices. On the second, choose those who remain shall tear apart, the two are close. It was obvious that this hinted at the first six murders and the ones that had occurred in the chapel, and Jessica and Cannon's murders. This was being followed, there still had to be prepared five more people to be killed. On the fourth, gouge the head, fifth, gouge the chest, sixth, gouge the stomach, 7th gouge the knee, 8th gouge the leg. 
Nanjo and Kumasawa's corpses still hadn't been found. However, if this follows the pattern, they're the sacrifices for the fourth and fifth. They'll surely be found in pitiful states with their head and chest gouged. So we can expect that three more of us will be gouged in the stomach and uh, knee and leg and killed. Meaning probably Genji's gonna die. Gota or Shannon will die and then probably George will die. One of those. Oh, probably that's what's gonna happen. So I'd say... I'll go Gota. Because it would make sense that Shannon and George were working together. So I'll go Gota for stomach, Genji for knee... And uh, Shannon or George will be lag. Who will it be? I looked around the room, nothing, noticing that there were three people here, but how should I put it? My emotions seemed paralyzed. Strangely, I didn't feel frightened. As I leaned against the sofa at the top, with the top part of my body gazing up at the ceiling, Maria noticed. Apparently, she felt I was slacking off in my riddle solving. She got mad for me for not taking this seriously enough. Fuck off, Maria. No, Maria. <laughs> That's not an answer. She'd stop killing people, but it's a little late for that now. I'm sure the witch wrote it in that letter that she'd give up on collecting interest or something abstract like that. I optimistically took that to mean she'd give up on killing the whole family. But was it really written with that meaning? For some reason, I couldn't convince myself that solving the riddle was really to say would really save me. I feel like maybe if, even if we do solve it, we'll just be dealing doing with what the culprit wants, and it's all to be a wasted effort. <laughs> Everyone will be revived at the Golden Land. <laughs> Whoopty fucking do! Everyone else is still dead. <laughs> Now she already knows where it is, obviously. Uh-huh. Yeah, why wouldn't she? <laughs> Because she's bored. Fuck it. Obviously not. うん。つまりなんだよ。わざとこっちにチャンスを与えるようなことをして。違う。それがね、魔法というものなの。うん。ないといけないの。That's <笑> でかくしなう覚悟がなきゃ。でかくは勝てない。Obviously。Not always, usually though. Yeah, but uh, it, if you, okay, the way this works is she could have every intention of paying it off, like she could be saying that. But once you actually have your back to the wall, you don't have to necessarily keep your promise once it actually gets to that point. Because up until that point, she doesn't have to keep her promise. She could have every intention to, thus it adds that element of risk. But at the very end, you still can change it, like immediately, and be like, well, there you go. 